Hi and welcome to Dark GDK installation for MS Visual C++ 2010. This is a version 1 of the document so if you see any problems or you have any suggestions to reduce the steps or improve the procedure please leave a comment on my channel. Um, first of all to get started what you'll need to do is download the applicable software so you'll need to get Microsoft Visual Studio uh, the 2010 Express Edition. Uh, here's a link there. Um, then you'll need to go off and get the DirectX SDK for August 2007. The link is here. Um, then you'll need to go off and get Dark GDK itself, which is on the Microsoft website, and the um, Dark GDK update for October 2010 is here. I will provide all these links in the video description, so you can just go and get them there, or you can get them from the PDF um, document that, uh, again, I'll also um, post on my website, um, on the forums, and... Um, I'll provide a link in the description as well. So once you've done all that, you'll need to go through the installation procedure. So you install Visual C++ uh, 2010. Once you've done that, you need to open C++ and you need to compile a program. Doesn't matter what program it is, can be simple, can be large, can be whatever. Um, obviously it won't be in Dark GDK yet, but just do a simple console out and it will be fine. And then once you've done that, close the software again and install DirectX um, 9.0C, the 2007 for August edition for the link above there. You can use later ones, but there are problems with the other ones. As I understand it, and I might be wrong on this, the later versions of the SDK had all the multiplayer commands removed, um, which is why we were remaining with the 2007 August edition. Don't know why Microsoft did that. Don't even know if they did, but that's my understanding of the situation. <coughs> Next, you'll need to install the Dark GDK MSI file. Um, what will basically happen is that will extract um, another exe, which you then run, and that will install the actual software. Um, then you'll need to download the um, Dark GDK updates, which I can show you quickly. So under my downloads, under Dark GDK, you'll basically get an extractive folder like this, Dark GDK update for October 2010. You'll need to copy this folder, copy those, and you'll need to place them into the Dark GDK folder, um, which will be here. So basically you'll just copy them into there, um, accept all file overwrites, and that's basically done. Um, then the last thing you'll need to do to get your files prepared is going to lib. I'm going to VS9 and you'll need to select these two files here um, strm uh, basd.lib and strm base.lib you'll need to copy those and you'll need to place them into your D your uh, uh, VS10 debug folder so like so and once you're done um, that's all the file setup you need to do. Everything else will take place um, in the software itself. So we'll get rid of these windows now. We don't need them anymore. Um, so all, obviously all the instructions have been written down in text form. There's quite a few, so please bear with me. So we'll open up the software. And with my iPad as a guide, um, hopefully I won't miss a step because it is a bit complicated. So we'll click on um, a new project. Um, select Win32 Project and give it a name, something like First Project. And hit enter. Um, click on Next. And we want an empty project folder. And we'll, uh, sorry, an empty project. Yep, we'll click on Finish. And then we'll need to add a uh, project file. So Project Add New Item. Um, click on C++ file and give it the name of main and press enter and that will then bring up your source code window. Now everything else is basically configuration. Um, to make this easier I've included all the directory paths for both Windows 32-bit and 64-bit. These are basic default installations. If you've, changed, if you've put um, your files to another location for whatever reason you'll need to update the paths for that. So study these, um, these paths here and you'll see 
all the uh, the information you need so in order to actually do this what we'll need to do first of all is click on tools then click on settings make sure you're on expert settings otherwise the property manager will not appear then you need to click on view and you need to click on property manager obviously it's already up for me um, highlight that then expand these two here highlight these two elements microsoft.cpp.win32.user right click then we'll need to click on uh, properties and we'll need to click on vc++ directories now you'll see these are already bold so these are the uh, ones i've already updated previously so what you'll basically need to do is copy them from the documentation or the video description which i'll also put them there um, you'll need to put the uh, included directories into the include directories folder there and the library directories which is a bit further down you'll need to copy those as you see it's listed in the instructions just copy and paste it over there then we'll need to go to linker and we'll need to go to input you'll need to get rid of additional dependencies everything that's written in there just put dark sdk.lib not gdk has to be sdk remember that we'll also need to set it up to ignore um, atlsd.lib and once you've done that we're basically done for this section so we'll click on ok then we need to click on project right click properties you'll see a slightly different window under vcc directories now what we need to include the pathway for um, directx um, so again if we scroll down in the instructions we got the paths here i'm using the 64-bit version so i'm going to highlight b 64-bit is always b 32-bit is always a and we need to insert that into library directories i'm just going to check that yep library directories so i highlight that and paste all that there as you can see it's quite a little bit different and we'll click on OK, and that should be it for the setup. Uh, I've done the linker uh, and I've done everything else, so we'll just provide some sample source code now, and hopefully it will compile properly. So include dark gdk dot uh, h yeah, in brackets. Sorry, this is an old keyboard; it's quite hard to type on. Um, void dark gdk open bracket void close bracket and squiggly bracket as i call them there's probably a better name for them but i don't care uh, db print open bracket open quotes and hello world and close bracket and semicolon remember to always end those lines with semicolon db wait key this is very quickly i'm not really describing the source code to you in detail i'll do those in further tutorials um and then we just end with a squiggly bracket so if you produce that code and we'll wait for it to finish paraphrasing all the files as it's doing down here and it's ready to go so while it was doing all that i've uh, typed in the source code and uh, hopefully keep your fingers crossed this will actually work so we'll build the solution and i've made a mistake okay sorry about that the um, instructions i gave you are fine the problem was that uh, some of the lines are copied from the PDF file had broken up the lines so instead of um, then copying them into the um, the um, clipboard as one big continuous line um, like this I was getting something like that which was actually stumping so I was actually only copying and pasting part of what I should have been but uh, providing you avoid that mistake I made and you copy in the whole line as one as it should be like this then you won't have any problems and as long as you do that for all the entries I made so just to demonstrate it works you got a lot of errors um, when this compiles but the project does run which is the main thing
Oops. Trying to build it. There we go. And there you go. So that's a demonstration that the program is actually running. Um, I will also upload this project file to the forums. Now, this is the 64 bit version of Windows. So, those of you who have 32 bit, which is probably the majority of you, um, you will need to go into the same paths I um, pointed out before. Um, and if you open this particular project file, delete the space bracket x86 close bracket i'll show you what i mean so if we highlight these right click click on properties um, you'll notice that some of the entries are made in fact you can drop down on this and you click edit and you can edit them this way which is a lot easier now you see i've got c colon forward slash program file space bracket x86 close bracket you need to delete that and the space so it will end up looking like that and you'll need to do that for any entry I may um, obviously if you have a non-standard location or you've installed them on another drive or something you'll need to update that path as well because it is absolute I dare say you can do a little bit of fancy coding um, <coughs> such as these uh, the, the string and open bracket and the installed directory and perhaps they've got a program files one or something i'm not sure but anyone who does know um leave a comment let me know and i'll update the documentation to try and reflect those changes so that's how you get a dark basic professional program sorry a dark, dark gdk program running in um, microsoft visual c 2010 express so you've seen it here and it does work so thanks for watching and i hope you found this useful